This is live from the red carpet, the Grammys. We are live on the Grammys red carpet, the 66th annual. I'm Suzanne Marquez, joined by Gray Drake. We have had quite a moment just in the last 30 seconds. We were interviewing Coco Jones. Yes. We just saw Billie Eilish and Phineas walk by. It is the moment right now on the red carpet. I am lit up like a <laughs> pinball machine because this is so energetic. It doesn't matter that the weather is torrential downpour rain outside. We've got so many people here ready to celebrate legends like Joni Mitchell. Suzanne, isn't everybody just just excited to see music celebrated tonight. Yes, and we did get some exclusive information from the Van Lucias. They'll be taking the stage with Joni, so I think it's going to be a big tribute because they said they just want her to feel beloved and cradled and supported at her first performance at the Grammy stage ever. Uh, which I'm still bewildered by. Right? I'm all for anything that makes Joni Mitchell feel supported. I'm here for it, and I think everybody else is too because everyone that we speak to is so excited to see her, especially knowing every Everything she's been through lately. You're right. And let's talk about some of the fashion because it's been over the top. People have told us they burn their clothes to make it look fabulous. <laughs> People are showing up lit up like a Christmas tree, literally. And we're going to show some of the carpet as we move around the camera, too, and just kind of do a little sneak peek around. Billie Eilish just walked past us. We yelled, hey, Billie, and she did nothing. <laughs> and it was great. And you know what? She was wearing her Barbie jacket. We should have said hi, Barbie. Aww. <laughs> she has already won a Grammy, by the way, with her brother Phineas. So many awards have been handed out. By the way, you just saw the lot. Rob Beisel, Scissors producer, already won a Grammy with her. Shout out to Rob out there. We're having such a good time just catching up with folks. Oh, it's amazing. And and the energy is off the yes. hook. Well, Sheila E, another Sheila legend. We have a E. Yeah, she hurt her knee. She said so. She threw away the gown, brought a pantsuit. She yeah. was in this colorful outfit with some sparkly sneakers. Anything goes here at the Grammy you Awards. You do not need high heels when you are Sheila E. I guarantee it. There's and as we're talking, I'm looking around just to be like, who's here? Why don't we take a little pan and just show you how chaotic this carpet is? But the best thing about this carpet is that it is dry, even though it is coming down out there. A massive storm for L.A., but all the New Yorkers and Miami residents have been laughing in our faces. Right, yeah. They are unimpressed by our <laughs> weather, Suzanne. Oh, and by the way, I see Rose Jay Shahayat, who was on our show this week, I think down there. There he is. He was up for eight Grammys last year. This year he is nominated again with Doja Cat. We have so much we're going to be focusing on. We're definitely going to catch up with him. And all the stars as they come down the carpet. Dua Lipa also looking fantastic, just covered in silver sequins. Every rhinestone <laughs> in Southern California is here. It is. It's basically like the fashion market, like not too far from here, all in one spot, and it's right here at the Grammys. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. How's it going in there? Hi, Where it's nice and dry. Hi, Gray. Yes, we're nice and dry. You guys are nice and dry. You guys look absolutely fabulous. Um, every piece of rhinestone, every sequence is in this studio right now. But as Suzanne said, today is music's biggest night. I'm your host, Leslie Marine, and we will like to welcome everyone watching us across the country. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so we will be monitoring what's going on on the red carpet. You see this box right here, on the other side, right here. <laughs> it's set up to help keep our eye on what's happening at all times down on the carpet. We will also be announcing some of the winners. As you may know, many people win ahead of the Grammys and could be making history even before the big show starts. But I can't do it alone. Joining me now is fashion stylist Jenny Rodriguez, also in her sequence. Jenny, Hi. I'm so excited to have you here with me. Thank you so much for having me. I know you have styled some big names. Go ahead and tell me just some uh, of your favorites. Nick and Vanessa Lachey, mm -hmm. Cammie Crawford. I've also worked with Juliana Rancic, just to name a few. <laughs> all big stars, all have been on the Grammy red carpet before. Yes. Um, and we have so much to get to. What are you most looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to seeing what SZA is going to wear. She had such an incredible year last year that I'm just so excited to see what she's going to wear. You were also earlier, Jenny was on her phone trying to figure out if you could get some hints for Queen B herself. Yes, I'm so, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping she walks the carpet because I'm sure she's going to wear something fabulous. Absolutely. She had a, a big year last year, yes, uh, not nominated for anything this year, can just simply have fun. We thought she was going to perform. Now we're told she's definitely not going to perform, but she, if Beyonce walks into a room, 
everyone is paying attention. And you know she's going to walk in style. Yeah, so. of course. <laughs> okay, we do want to take a look at some early arrivals. You know, we've been talking about this massive storm we're having here in Los Angeles. Yeah, oh my gosh. I wonder if that's going to play a factor into what people chose to wear. Do they want to bundle up more? You being a stylist, does that really have a factor in such a big night like the Grammy? You take it into consideration, but the Grammys, it's such a fun uh, award show that you just, you're like, okay, just you know, wear an umbrella, like take an umbrella with you and just like rock your look on the red carpet. So I think there's gonna be people that are gonna take the risk and just wear something really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're gonna take a, a look at some of the past looks here as again, you have that live fashion cam here on your screen as you're watching people take the red carpet. But if we can get into some past looks here, I believe 10 time Grammy nominee Victoria Monet. She is up for seven nominations. This is huge, huge. for an artist. She also includes um, new artist, uh, record of the year, best new artist, as I said. She actually, she looks gorgeous. I do want to note that at one point she walked the carpet with her daughter wearing matching dress. Oh, that's so it cute. It was super cute. What do you think about this look? I think she looks incredible. I think her stylist did such an amazing job of just you know, the corset and just like showing off her figure. She looks classy and this is a perfect dress to wear with such a big gear that she had. She's definitely like glowing. Yeah, and I understand her daughter, Grammy winner herself because she included her in one of her songs. But, yes. Um, despite whatever she wore, her best accessory, of course, having her daughter there on her side. What a treat. Um, yeah, what a moment yeah. to, have to share with your little girl, right? Yeah. That's incredible. Okay, the girl band Boy Genius a lot of people call them the boys. Yeah. I love that. Is up for five Grammys tonight, including record of the year. Um, I think we might have them up. If not, we probably want to get to Dua Lipa. She looks, oh no, we do have Boy Genius up there. That is, uh, look at our rain cam, so we'll try <laughs> to get that up. Rain, also an accessory tonight, It right? is, it is. It's, it is the, the accessory of Los Angeles. <laughs> I know, it is what it is, it's gonna happen. Um, but if, uh, we're gonna try to work and get Dua Lipa because she's three-time Grammy winner. Of course, her song for Barbie. Huge is, year um, she had. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like we are going to go back out to Suzanne and Gray down on the red carpet as they're talking to some of your favorite stars. Let's go ahead and get down to Suzanne. Suzanne? Hi, guys. I'm here with Gray. We are on the red carpet. Iris Starr was just around here. We were going to talk to her. I think she, maybe she dipped. <laughs> I think she dipped. That happens to us. We like secure interviews and then they disappear like thin air. Oh, here comes Ed Sheeran, by the way. Let's do a little pan over here. That's fun to just see. Hi, Ed. Ed, we're live on KCAL. Let's see if we're convincing. Ed, how are you feeling? <laughs> See, this is what it's like, y'all. We are trying. We are working our hardest. But we've had a really good time. We saw Jelly Roll roll right past us. Right. He's we did talk back. to some folks, though. Yeah. We've talked to like deputy. Yes. Who who produced for yeah and for Victoria tonight. Monet? Yes. Which we love. Do us, and then come right back. Oh, okay. Well, actually, can we just pop our mics in? This is super exciting. <laughs> you know, the carpet is always going. Everybody. Like we're out here in the middle of the chaos. I know. Should we just keep talking until we get her, and then yeah, just snag her? I think so. Let's like talk about her outfit because I will say, sexy is back, and it is fabulous, and it's not dressing appropriately for the weather. That is not the point of the Grammys. It is to be the most standout look you can do. Right. And something I've noticed too is that there's sort of a celebration of spring. Yes, it's beautiful, it's colorful. They're playing a game over here, but guess what we got before I disappear? Uh, <laughs> we have snacks, okay? We are robbing the folks on the red carpet, and it's been working, okay? We gave out quite a few candy bars. That's right, because there's one thing that's common on the carpet. Everyone is hungry. Yes, everybody's starving, and they just wanted to get here in time, so we have something to lure them back. That's what I should have gotten out for her, but I don't think she needs it right now. Right now, we'll just scooch on over. Earlier coming down the carpet, we saw Boy Genius too. Yes, we saw Boy Genius talk to Sarah Tudson, their producer. They were all wearing white suits. I know you showed a photo of them earlier when they were walking down the carpet. It's a hint at some of their song titles. And as we look around the carpet, let's see what else is going on. I, you know when you hear this like buzz where there's like a whoosh through the air? Though that could be the storm as well, right, Gray? Oh, exactly. <laughs> we also saw Niecy Nash come through. 
who's been like the award show darling this year. She's won a lot of stuff, not for music, but I'm all over it. Oh yeah, just having her here is fantastic. Okay, Ari looking gorgeous. Let's see if we can grab her. All right, so we're gonna go back to you exactly. in the studio and we'll see you soon. Hello, you I'm know, sorry, we love how are you? Great moment. And and it looks like they're about to get an interview right now, but we do want to toss it out to break because we are just getting started here on the red carpet as it's heating up despite the rain. I'm joined along Jenny Rodriguez. Join us as we count down to the 66th Grammy Awards. <laughs> We are live here on the Grammys red carpet, the 66th annual Grammy Awards, the most intense and the wettest, but fortunately for us, not actually on the red carpet. <laughs> that hasn't dampened the celebration no. at all. No, it isn't. And it's such a fun time out here. Let's look around and just see who's walking down the carpet. That's some of the most fun about being here is that you get to see who's walking. I do believe that's George Draculius. He produced the Barbie oh soundtrack. Oh my gosh, that's He's incredible. one of my favorite artists and so many songs nominated for Barbie tonight. Yes, and Billie Eilish repping for Barbie, wearing her jacket, you know, like the football player jacket, the varsity jacket. Right, right, yeah. there you go. You, it, wearing her signature Billie style with her black hair, with the red up top, and then Gray, you're working your pink. <laughs> so you. many people have loved it too. Fantasia Barino. Shout it out your hair. I love <laughs> when that happens because it justifies walking around looking like a flamingo. No, but you look fabulous. <laughs> and you know what? The Grammys is the place. If you're going to wear something shocking, something bright, something stand out, game respects game. <laughs> and I'd love to see it. It was so exciting to even talk to the Warren Treaty about their look because it was so inspired by like real life emotion and they were giving nods to their family members, things like that. Like that kind of fashion that has context is just that much more exciting to see. Yes, and we're seeing a lot of representation as the fashion girlies and gals and guys and the gays and theys will love. Uh, the Vampire's Wife, that's a very hot look. It's very, you know, covers you up a lot, keeps you warm, but also very sexy and timeless. Right, and we also have some people braving the weather wearing capes. Yes. Those people are brilliant. Yes, by layering it up makes it more exciting, makes it more dynamic, and it also has a lot of movement. And we also saw Don Richard, formerly of Danny Kane, now she's solo. You won't miss her dress when you do see it. It's basically a forest of trees surrounding her on top. I said, it's better than an umbrella. She said, absolutely it is, <laughs> and it's chic. We, and basically we hear, we when hear we, from our producer right now. Somebody's walking right now? Ed Sheeran is nearby. Oh yes, we saw him walk by us. Oh yeah, he breezed by us, and you complimented his outfit. Oh, she's so good. <laughs> and everything about Ed Sheeran is great. Yes. I just want to give him a hug. I know, he just looks like he's happy to be here, even though, it, what did he make, like $700 million on his last tour? <laughs> yeah, unfathomable. It's like Ian Taylor in the Billionaires Club. <laughs> but yeah, we're just kind of looking around the carpet, guys. See, we have people posing, having a great time. What happens is it's a storm of people all at once, and then, it's quiet, which right now, it's kind of the calm of the storm, so to say. We'll send it back to you guys for now. Yeah, we know all those big stars, right, Suzanne and Gray? They come 10 minutes before the carpet closes, yeah. if that. Um, but we're still getting Something's some pretty, here. yeah, some pretty big stars there. I'm looking oh, at this Miley camera. Cyrus. Miley Yay! Cyrus having a big, big look night. Take a look. It's a moment. Almost unrecognizable when you're yeah. watching her walk because of the hair. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't have known that's Miley Cyrus, but yeah, she's going to have a big night tonight. If she wins a Grammy, it would be the first time she has ever won a Grammy tonight. Wow. So we are hopeful she would be a first time winner despite having such a storied career already. I know, isn't that crazy? But who wasn't singing? <laughs> that was like the song of the year. <laughs> uh, I could not relate to the lyrics, but you could not get that song out of my head. Okay, well, you guys, it's been so much fun already. You saw Suzanne Gray Drake down on the red carpet. We are taking a look at uh, the red carpet right now as people continue to make their way in. And right there to the side, before we, we left, was Coco Jones. You, you were describing her outfit to me she, and who she's wearing. She's wearing Celia. It's a Greek designer, and mm -hmm. I think it was the perfect dress for her to wear. It's like 
her first time on the red carpet and mm -hmm. she just looked beautiful and it was a great color color choice too I think um, I'm not sure if we want to go out to Suzanne right now. I know she is talking to Edgar Barreda, I believe, who is up for a couple nominations tonight. Let's go out to Suzanne right now hey. because he, Suzanne, hey. a big name right there, big producer. A lot of people may not know all the yeah, music baby. he's produced. What's so fabulous is Edgar Barrera has worked with Bad Bunny, Madonna. I mean, it goes on and on. But you just won a Grammy right now. Tell us who you won. I'm excited, yes. I mean, uh, Peso just won for Best uh, Musica Mexicana Album. I had the honor to uh, work with him on that album, to write and produce Tulum with him. And uh, it's such an honor to be, you know, now with this news that he won a Grammy. Excited for that. Awesome, because I just mentioned Bad Bunny. He's so huge. He made such a statement at Grammys years ago. But you got him to cross over into Mexican music, traditional Mexican sound. How did you do that? And it's so wonderful, especially for us in Los Angeles, where we have such representation and a big population. I mean, I'm, I've always been true to my roots and true to my sound. And uh, having him uh, support our sound and, and respect, you know, where we what we do and where we come from, it's already a big honor, and I'm just honored to be part of that song. Grateful with him for, for jumping on the song. And yeah, I mean, it's got me a nomination now for Song of the Year, and I'm just grateful, just grateful to be here. What's the most surprising thing about collaborating with Benito? Uh, everything is surprising, everything. I mean, the, the day of the, of the video shoot, the guys didn't know that we were gonna do a video with uh, Bad Bunny, so I mean, everything, Everything is always a surprise with him, and I, I'm a big fan. I'm his. You know. We are so proud of you. What's it like being here? It's a huge honor. I mean, yeah, everybody's walking in. You know, I just saw a cheer and walk by, and and. Best. You see Nash over your shoulder. It's just like who's who of celebrity. I mean, everybody's here. I'm just honored to be here. And do you hear the thunderstorm overhead? <laughs> oh, it's raining. I'm all wet. I got all wet <laughs> trying to trying to get over here, but we made it here. Thank you, Edgar. Congratulations, so a much. Grammy winner tonight. Thank you. Have a great time. Have Thank you so much. Edgar. Okay, everybody, as we go to break, we're going to show you Nisi Nash looking absolutely fantastic in her gold from head to toe. live back here at the Grammys red carpet the 66th annual Grammy Awards even though it is thunderstorming outside it is nice and warm and cozy here on the carpet and glamorous oh that's right it's so warm because everybody's running around like chickens with their heads cut off <laughs> yeah. while they're wearing sparkles yes and it is such an incredible experience I've seen many a red carpet and I have never felt this good of vibes but I love great this is your first Grammys you have done everything the Oscars the Golden Globes, everything. And what is your impression of the Grammys? This is so unique. I think that everyone is in such a great mood. They're so open. They're so excited to talk about the power of music. And that's something that everyone all over the world can relate to. Plus, you have to keep your eyes peeled. I know. As you're talking, I'm looking around to like try and see everybody. Because we hear people cheering, friends saying hello to everybody. Great. And yeah, folks like Ed Sheeran and Miley Cyrus zipping down the carpet. We call her Suzanne Eagle Eye Marquez <laughs> here on this carpet. Well, I'm trying to help look, but we've had so many fantastic people come down. Madison Cunningham, who was up for Best Folk Album, was just absolutely lovely. Everybody giving Joni Mitchell their flowers, which yes. I think is so fantastic for her never performing at the Grammys, has won a Lifetime Achievement Award, but to take the stage, she's going to be surrounded by so many legendary performers. I'm thinking Brandi Carlisle might be taking the oh, stage. Oh, wouldn't right? that be amazing? Yeah. And I mean, Joni Mitchell is just one of the performers we know about, but the great thing about the Grammys are all the surprises that we're going to get yes. on that stage. I can't wait to see what Trevor Noah has to say. Yes. He's fourth time hosting. He's always so delightful. I just always am like, give me more Trevor. Yeah, always. and also Tracy Chapman and Luke yes. Combs are gonna perform. Lots of folks mentioning that Tracy Chapman influenced them just as much as Joni. So we're right. having legends taking the stage tonight. Only 10 awards handed out tonight because it's a night full of performances. Oh, it's so fantastic. I don't even care that this guy is crying. No. This is the best. And thankfully we're, we are dry and nice and quiet <laughs> inside but outside we can hear the thunderstorms hitting on top but i feel like we're in our own little champagne bubble i have a feeling that actually we're going to hear some of this thunder maybe in some recordings coming up it's That's very dramatic sure. but it's fun 
We'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> I love watching people come down the red carpet. We're watching that as you guys are talking. And you know, they talked about Joni Mitchell taking the stage. Never performed at the Grammys, has won Grammys before. Crazy. 80 years old and had suffered a brain aneurysm, mm. which meant she couldn't walk, she couldn't talk, she definitely could not sing. It's just, that is a moment I'm really looking forward to. I agree, I mean, talk about a comeback, you know, just yeah. to, like, at 80 years old, to go to the Grammys, like, oh, and I'm so curious to see what able, she's gonna wear. Able to sing, yeah. and all that, that it's, it's gonna be quite a moment. We do wanna uh, take a look at some of the people we've seen on the carpet so far, because, you know, we did get a look at Miley Cyrus, and I don't know if we can bring that up, or we might have to go to Billie Eilish right now. Yeah, Billie Eilish, six Grammy nominations tonight, wearing her Barbie jacket. Yes. Significant, correct? And she's staying true to her aesthetic mm -hmm. in her outfit tonight. It's very much so like tomboyish, chic. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it fits her it fits her well. Yeah, and I love that she wore the Barbie yeah. jacket because it is up for um, some major awards, a song she made for the yeah. movie, um, which was incredibly emotional for so many of us. I know yeah. I cried when the song came on. Yeah, so did I. It was a good movie. Yeah, so Billie Eilish there on the carpet. She had a huge uh, year already at the Golden Globes winning there, but uh, we have Miley Cyrus because this has been probably the biggest moment on the carpet so far. I mean, she looks incredible. She's giving goddess, she's giving fierce. Like, I love everything about the, this look. I think this is the perfect look to wear to the Grammys. She's giving Grammy, right? She yeah, she like is. like a Grammy. I know we say that a lot of times, but the gold, the hair. I mean, she looks stunning. And if she's gonna win her first Grammy tonight, she has eight nominations, that is the outfit to That's do it. That's the look, in. for sure. She's gonna like glow on stage. Yeah, you're looking at Babyface right now. Also up for a nomination for his record, Girls' Night Out, where he uh, performed with many women who are nominated tonight. He collaborated with them. He's amazing. I love Babyface and I love his tux. I think it's yeah. very sharp and Perfect. he looks great. Well, we have so much more to get to here as we count down to the 66th Grammys. What's the best part about being at the Grammy? It's it's this part to me. It's the before. We are nominated and we are excited. <laughs> Unbelievable experience. I'm truly honored to try to drink it all in. That's very surreal. I don't know that it's sunken in. I'm going to be floating above ground. I'm on another planet or something. Being here is like, all right, sending pictures to my mom like it's happening. The greatest music creators are right here. It's like a dream come true. I'm kind of floating in a cloud right now. It's very surreal. So excited to be here. Like, it feels surreal. I think, I think I'm think I think I'm faking a decent amount. I'm honored to be here. I grew up watching the Grammys and my mom's tripping out right now, you know, so it's a good time. carpet special that was just a taste of all the incredible people we have talked to so far i'm your host suzanne marquez i am gray drake and we are standing here with the family of the great donna summer yes thank so you so much for being here thank you so let's talk about what how we honored donna summer at at the Grammy. Well, she is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, we had a special ceremony yesterday, and it was a really great night. We feel very proud, very honored to be able to all be here together tonight and to you know, accept it on her behalf. And can we go around the, the room and introduce everybody? Yes, I'm Amanda. I'm the baby of the family. <laughs> I'm Bruce Sedano. I'm the dad. <laughs> I'm Mimi. I'm the older sister. And I am the middle child, okay? I'm the middle okay, child, too. Like, I get it, girl. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, We're the one who put I'm, it together. Yes. I'm Brooklyn. <laughs> nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you guys. Her music is so legendary. It's classic. It's timeless. I love that you're all working a style that is very like your mom. Oh, it was hers. I had a summer job where I would steam this every night before she went on stage. And I loved this dress, but I hated steaming it. And so at the end of the tour, she gave it to me. And so I was like, I gotta wear it tonight. <laughs> so here I am, yeah. What do you hope people remember about your mom? I mean, I think so many people remember the music, obviously. But I mean, I think as her family, how much heart she had and how much fun she was. She was just a lot of fun. She was so creative. Um, and she really loved people and saw people. And I think that's kind of what we hope the documentary and her music continues to do. Now, have y'all ever been to the Grammys before? 
Well, I have numerous times. Uh -huh. I was just telling the story how in uh, 1983 or 84, Donna was opening the Grammys uh, with She Works Hard for the Money, and it was a cold opening, and we were late, stuck in traffic, and she got out of the limo in her waitress outfits and raced. <laughs> sprinted backstage. I was huffing and puffing, trying to keep up with her, but she made it to the top of the stairs. Show started. She works hard for the money, and we made it. Oh, and I so was at home watching. Yes. Can yes. I tell you, I was a dancer as a little girl, and we had little mops in our little outfits, oh, sweeping. Oh she works hard for the money. That I think I was about amazing. seven. Oh. She is so iconic. Congratulations. The documentary, where can we watch it? HBO Max. Uh, streaming, on Max. Love to love you, Donna Summer. Yeah. Love to love you guys. Yeah. I, the middle child. My directorial <laughs> debut. Yes. Oh, yeah. She's incredible. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Congratulations. Have the best time tonight. Oh my gosh, wearing her actual clothes. Wow. That is so meaningful. And that's exactly what the Grammys are all about. Everybody's here honoring music past and future. It's so exciting. I am swept away like the river outside the yes. tent right now is yeah. flowing and woo. It's yeah. That's pretty dire, but yeah. I will say Johnny Cash's son was here with June Carter Cash. He said he had a moment from one of the, 19, what is it, 1986 or so? Yep. Where Michael Jackson was here and he got to go to the Grammys. He says he was young, so his parents wouldn't let him go to the after parties with them. So they went and got everybody's autograph. It's so cute. <laughs> and also, how frustrating. You make it so close to one of the biggest stars in pop, right. and then you get sent home to bed? I know. Ouch. Oh my gosh. At least you can say Johnny Cash is your dad and June Carter is your mom. Very true. <laughs> uh, I mean, other legends like that that are such a huge part of the Grammys, the very fabric of the Grammys. And it makes me think about the history like yes. the Grammys themselves are named after the gramophone because, I mean, that's where it all started. And that's the award, right? It's exactly. Like you still take home the iconic gramophone, even if we are throwing away our CDs and our and most of our cassettes, most of them, not all of them. Oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> they're hard to let go of, especially when they're great tracks like Donna Summer. Exactly. Mm. She does work hard for the money, and now we know just how hard she worked Grammy night, the oh night boy. she performed. <laughs> Even celebrities are subject to Los Angeles traffic, everybody. Yes, and it was a nightmare. So if you are in the downtown area or if you're at home watching us, stay put at home and do not venture near the Grammy Awards Crypto.com Arena at all tonight. You will get swept away. Don't get do swept it. away from your houses. That's right. Watching the, us on the television, bringing you all the stars here on the carpet. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, why try to get out in the rain? Stay right here with us as Gray Suzanne on the red carpet. And we want to welcome all of our friends watching across the country. It's already been an incredible night, even though it's raining, right? Yes. It hasn't stopped any of these stars from looking absolutely fierce, showing up, and the incredible show we're about And to looking have. amazing. Yeah, they look absolutely <laughs> amazing. Of course, we do want to remind our viewers that the Grammys are airing on CBS in just about an hour, also streaming live and on demand on Paramount+. Plus. I'm Leslie Marin, this is Jenny Rodriguez. You've styled so many people, yes. Nick Lachey, Nick Vanessa Lachey, Lachey. Vanessa, Cami Crawford. Mm -hmm. I've worked with Beyonce's team as well, so. And that's someone we're hoping to see on the carpet. I am so looking forward to seeing what she's gonna wear, because you know she always comes with a look. I know, does she go for Renaissance? Does she channel that? Is she channeling something different? I mean, the looks on Renaissance, her tour let alone, I mean, I feel like that set the tone for what she's going to wear, maybe tonight? I don't know, that's just, that's just my guess. Of course, we are hoping to see Beyonce, but there are so many stars that have already hit the carpet, and we do wanna take a look at some of their looks for tonight. Okay, up for best new artist, Coco Jones. I mean, she looks amazing. I love like the silhouette of the, the dress. I love the jewelry. She's wearing uh, this designer named Celia, which I think just does amazing dresses and just understand. He understood the, the, the assignment yeah. when he did this <laughs> dress for her. She just looks beautiful. and. It's the perfect dress for her to wear tonight. Yeah, you know, a lot of times people at the Grammys, they'll go all out, they'll go different. Yeah. This is so classic and she just looks simply beautiful. Yes, it's right? like 
it's elegant, but at the same time, it's like, it has an edge to it, which I like. Yeah, Brandi Carlisle there, two nominations. I know she's already won uh, one Grammy tonight uh, with the pre-show. Uh, she always comes out in fun. Yes, this is very much her aesthetic. It's mm -hmm. suiting, it looks great. I love the colors, like the orange with the pink. I think they complement each other very well. So yeah, she looks great. And congratulations to Brandi Carlisle, already becoming a winner tonight before the big show. Okay, we want to get to Lauren Daigle. She has two nominations tonight, including Best Contemporary Christian Music Album. And you know when I talk about being fun and being true to yourself at the Grammys, it allows you to do that? <laughs> I feel like this is exactly that. She t definitely took a risk. I wish she would have not worn the hat because <laughs> it takes away from the dress, but the dress is beautiful. Do you think that was because of the rain? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I would have just loved to see the dress without the hat and maybe a different hairstyle, but she looks great. Yeah, she definitely does. And, and Trick's sticking true to her style. Yeah. Uh, Kat Graham, she's an American actress and singer. Um, if we can bring her up. And this has been absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, she looks stunning. I love the white dress. Like, it's just like the structure of it, it's cool, it's edgy, it's perfect for the Grammys. Oh. And wow, like that cut off, cut out. Wow. I know. You have to be very careful. <laughs> yeah. In this. It, it's like placed perfectly where it covers just enough to leave to the <laughs> imagination. But she looks great. I think it's a fun, edgy look for the Grammys. Okay, and Rose Shahayed is up for one Grammy nomination. If you don't know who this is, uh, he does many of the songs like A Doja Cat's Attention. Oh. Um, and he always comes out looking like money. <laughs> he looks sharp. Yeah, he looks very he looks sharp. sharp. Uh, we want to get back out to Suzanne and Gray Drake, who are out on the red carpet down at Crypto.com Arena. Hi, you guys. Hello. Having a good time here. We have Joel Smallbone joining us up for King and Country and your gorgeous wife, Mariah. What is like being here tonight? Well, I uh, first of all, Luke sends his condolences. We're actually uh, promoting a feature film right now, so he's in Dallas at a screening, so I replaced my band mate for my soulmate of 10 years, as, as the story goes. And we've literally braved the elements to yeah, be in here. This looks like hair gel. No, it's this, water. Is this is just rain, <laughs> guys. This it's is just, just rain. rain. But we've made it. And uh, look, I, I said to someone earlier, it's preposterous. It never gets old, right? The, this, we've, we've been to a few, we've had the chance to be at a few Grammy Awards, to win a few Grammy Awards um, over the years. but. The fact that you get to make music, the fact that you listen to this music, the fact that this is a job mm. is really bizarre. And the moment you stop being grateful for it, I think you probably just got to find another job and let someone else have a go because it's a real special thing. Well, and certainly that kind of gratitude plays into your music as well. Oh, there's no doubt. I hope so, at least. I mean, look, we're in a really interesting space and place as a human species right now where we're actually really isolating a lot. And music is one of these great mediums. Like politics is not bringing us together. Religion sometimes doesn't feel like it's bringing together. But music, and we've really had a, we have a special place in our heart for spiritual music. You have people that look different, act different, vote different, think different, all crammed into the same room. That's just beautiful. And I think it's, for all of us, I think it's really important as we step forward, you know, and find our footing in this new stage and age. I think I can top that. That was so profound. My gosh, now I see why you married him. 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. 10 years. And, and we California like girl right here. I know, I yeah. grew up watching KCAL News, you Yay. guys. What a yeah. moment. Full circle moment. What a moment. Well, thank you for being on with us. You both look so gorgeous. Thank you, Congrats. Ladies. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Of course. We'll see you out there. Thanks for joining us. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thank Yay. you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Rainy SoCal. What a fun carpet this is. It's so down to earth, so nice. We're going to be right back with much more.
Hey, everybody, we are under the tent. I know you're worried about us. We are dry, we are safe and sound, but we are live on the 66th annual Grammys red carpet, and it has been such a fun ride. It really has. It got me to thinking, like, what were they doing back in 1959 at the very first Grammys? Right. Because I'm not sure that tent technology <laughs> is where is it, it is now, well, and we need it today. It, it never rains in Southern California, Ooh. usually. <laughs> but you know what? We got to talk to Coco Jones looking like a vision earlier up for multiple Grammys. Have a listen. What is it like to be up for Best New Artist? Clearly, you have been around making music for a while, but it's pretty incredible. You know what? It's so surreal to be here off of a debut EP. Next year, I'm releasing my, I mean, this year, this summer, I'm releasing my debut album, and I just have so much more I want to do, so I'm excited. Hello, hello. We are out here looking down the carpet. We're just seeing who's coming. Because, you know, there's all these rumblings, and I don't know if it's thunder or if it's just people clamoring. <laughs> My heart went pitter-patter seeing Jelly Roll. And just thinking about, like, his soulful music. I, oh, it's so wonderful even to see people pass you right by because they are very busy. <laughs> and they are very ready to sit down and get ready for the 66th annual Grammys. They are. And, you know, a lot of people have breezed by, but I don't mind that I saw Babyface for two seconds. I'm all good with it. And Phineas and Billie Eilish. Honestly, two seconds of Babyface is almost all that my heart can handle. That's right. Oh, I'm <laughs> glad he wears timeless. sunglasses. <laughs> exactly. Eye contact with him, I'd be gone. <laughs> Right, we need you here. We need you live all afternoon long, Gray. We are just looking at the carpet right now. Look at all these folks taking selfie videos. That's why sometimes I think they're gonna film somebody, but no. By the way, we have quite a few influencers out here. Alex Earl was out here, and a whole bunch of folks from all different genres of music. You've seen gospel singers right next to goth opera. We had goth kids sing an opera for us. We sure did. And actually, they tried to adopt me, and they asked me to please do interviews with them, and I said, I don't sing opera. They said, doesn't matter. You could just hum along. Yeah. You could be I could, backup. I'd just be their hype man. <laughs> exactly. It's amazing. <laughs> and we also have new age artists out here, and it's so interesting to hear them talk about having to make music without words. Like, they're reaching people simply through the power of instrumentals, and that's yes. really something. Oh, for sure. And then talking to all of the people who, oh, I, by the way, can we mention the amount of shorts we've seen out here? So many shorts. Right, right here. If you are a fan of calves, <laughs> the Grammys are your jam. I feel like one of the pioneers was Pharrell. Of course, our fashion experts can tell us how it originated, but it's really cute. Right. It has a very boyish charm, and then your pants don't get wet in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> and I in days resist. like this, no cuffs are wet. <laughs> no. By the way, we did see the legendary Billy Joel walking the carpet. Oh. He's performing tonight. He has a new single out. I don't know the last time he performed out here. I get, oh, Billy, I just, I like yelling people's names <laughs> as though they don't know themselves. I know. And but it's just, nice when they wave back the acknowledgement. Right. It's, it's hard it's, out here. We're again, working hard for the money. Just like we Donna are, Summer. truly, just like Donna Summer said. And it's like, it, it's again, just these vibes. It's all about that energy, the friendliness, the power of music. And from A to Z, everybody's into it. Yes, and that's the best part of the Grammys for sure. Okay, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. You guys can correct our fashion observations. I was going to say, those were great fashion tips there. Wear shorts so that your pants don't get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is great advice, Suzanne. Thanks so much, you guys. You know, we're watching tons of people walk the red carpet right now, and Jenny Rodriguez, stylist, and I are having tons of fun here. Jenny, moments ago, as Suzanne and Gray were talking, we did see Peso Pluma. He took uh, the red carpet there yes. with his girlfriend, Nikki Nicole. And I liked his, his look. It was very, like, mariachi inspired you mm -hmm. know I love the patches on the tux and he do, he looked sharp and you know he had such an incredible year last year the most viewed artist on YouTube even bigger than Taylor Swift crazy that's saying a lot I know I know his you couldn't go anywhere without hearing either Peso Pluma Bad Bunny uh -huh. <laughs> or Miley Cyrus incredible and you know he won already nominated for regional Mexican music album and won that award prior to the show but we do want to queue up some of the people that have taken the red carpet already take a look Dua Lipa we were talking about this oh look. my god we absolutely love she this. looks incredible she's wearing custom courage and I mean it just suits her so well like and she's wearing Tiffany jewelry and she just looks incredible I mean her style has evolved
yeah, like throughout the years. And I think this is like the best I've seen her look. She will be performing tonight. I'm sure she'll be performing her Barbie hit, uh, Dance the Night Away, also nominated for two Grammys. Amazing. Uh, she was saying this look is very heavy, oh. but uh, that it, it was free flowing and she loved it. Uh, you know, for the Grammys, you just have to wear, if it's if it's heavy, if it's something funky or weird, you just have to do it because you're making a statement. Yeah, this year you're looking at Ira Starr. She has one Grammy nomination tonight for Best African Music Performance. We actually really like this look. Yeah, I love it. I think it suits her for her vibe. It's very true to her aesthetic and I, I love it. It's giving, I dream of Jeannie vibes a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's fun about the Grammys. You can totally decide whatever you want to wear, whether it's a headpiece or not. Yeah. This is Maria Mendez. She's nominated tonight for the category for Best Arrangement, Instruments, and Vocals. I that love, is a I love the dress. I think it's cool. It's different. Mm -hmm. it gives, it's, it's Grammy. It's Grammy. She's. She's a Grammy. She there looks like go. a Grammy. You can do whatever you want at the Grammys because it's time to have fun. It's time to be true to who you are. Show out a little bit. Have fun. It's, it's Just have fun. biggest night. Yeah. And we have a tons to get to right here on the pre-Grammy red carpet show. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the 66th annual Grammys red carpet. You are looking live at Kylie Minogue, looking like a vision. Grace, she's wor working the cape. Oh. We're seeing that on the red carpet a lot tonight. Finally, I understand what Padam Padam really means, yes. and it is how <laughs> bomb she looks right now. I love it, working in one of her hits, nominated tonight. Yeah, she looks absolutely fantastic. We also just saw Heidi Klum walking down, looking like a vision. I love all the skin we're seeing tonight. Yes, and one of my favorite things about Heidi Klum is that she gets glammed up better than anybody knows but when Halloween rolls around oh, she looks like a monster that's right or worm yeah <laughs> she's, she's it all she's the best I love that versatility <laughs> we do oh. so it's just been fun just being out here looking at who's coming down the carpet seeing who's sweeping down you know we are also trying to buy some time so we can just grab Kylie Jelly Roll passed by us twice, and now my feelings hurt. They said they would interview after the Grammys. That's when they've gone and left town, right? Or are we just going to hang out at the after party and wait for him to walk out? No, you know what? I have a good feeling about it because Jelly Roll just brings with him that aura of realness. Yeah, it does. You would not say it if you didn't mean it. You're right. You're right. But yes, we have had so many fantastic folks out here tonight looking so glamorous, but also there's no pressure. You can wear a suit, you can wear sneakers. It's all about comfort, living your best life, and looking how you want to look. Right. Yeah. There are so many people here. This is one of the most packed carpets in the entertainment industry. Yeah. And it makes it so similar to the Grammys themselves. They started as just about 20 some odd awards, and it's grown to over 100. Wow. Which just tells you why there are so many people here. <laughs> Yes. Everybody's getting gold. And the majority are handed out before the ceremony even starts. About 80 to 90 awards. Only about 10 will be awarded tonight, but that's because they want to make plenty of time for all of those performances. is going to take the stage. She was up for nine nominations. We know she's won at least one at this point. Yes. So she's already a winner. I love how we, it's just this, everyone standing here and just re ready to come up. Like, yes. I love that. I love the fact well, it's that. it's fun. Yeah, people walk back and forth. We could talk people to that guy if we out. wanted to. We exactly. We just call him I know, him by the way, are, are you guys, you guys are with Kylie Minogue, right? to be on camera. So. to be in her seat. Well, we're talking to you. You're the man of the hour. We are live on the news right now on KCAL. Very okay, well, serious see, behind the scenes. Like, we showed you a little slice of life behind the scenes. Yeah. He put the hand up. But you know what? We have some We let you behind the here. curtain. Exactly. We removed the fourth wall so you can see what it's like. <laughs> it's hard out here for two co-hosts, but we are trying our best. Now, let's sweep down to the left side of the carpet because I guarantee the camera can see better than us. And the best part, if you look behind this main red carpet in the back is where folks like Rihanna usually sneak in and Beyonce and usually they have people flanked by them we see people walking with umbrellas on the carpet and I guarantee if they don't want to be on camera we're gonna see some umbrellas pop in. I think that's how you get back there if you win a certain number of Grammy Awards you definitely get the special lane yeah like the VIP section the uh, the pass like you do on the carpool lane of the freeway. Oh my gosh, CeeLo Green is coming down the carpet looking like a gold Grammy himself. Wow. He's getting padded, looking fabulous. Okay, well, we're gonna see if we can catch up with CeeLo and we are going to go to break and be right back. Well, 
Welcome back to the Grammys red carpet. We are live, folks. It is KCAL News bringing you the carpet with a K. <laughs> That's just for today, though, guys. But yes, we're having a great time here at the Grammys. And Gray, we talked to a really fantastic duo not too long ago. Oh, the Warren Treaty is such an incredible duo. Michael and Tanya really bring so much warmth and context to these songs. And it was really exciting to talk to them about why this album is a little different from any of the others they've ever done. <laughs> Let's have a listen. We have some legends coming here tonight. How have people like Joni Mitchell and Tracy Chapman impacted you as artists? Oh, Tracy Chapman was the first folk artist that I saw, you know, on the charts that was writing songs stripped down with a guitar. And I'm like, wow. And it, and really, she birthed out of that, you know, Michelle and Dago Cello and a lot of other artists that start playing guitars and female artists and, and empowering women of color. But I will say that her song um, did not help me in this situation. I was very disappointed. Um, I, I was speeding on the highway, <laughs> and I got my first ticket. And when they put me over, I said, I got a fast car. And, and they said, no, it's not going to work. There's a ticket. OK, so now you know how not to get out of a ticket, courtesy of Michael. <laughs> Right? That's so charming though. He's just being real. I know. Listen, <laughs> even stars get speeding tickets. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> I was so geeked out to talk to them. Their album is sensational. And just to see their outfits and the color that they're bringing, again, yes. spring is right around the corner. Yeah, it's all about being striking. Now, we want to show you Olivia Rodrigo. She just walked by a few minutes ago, or seconds ago, I should say, wearing cream with a few rhinestones. I would venture to say, because I lived through the 90s, looked like a 90s gown to me, because those ah. slip dresses, those were all the rage. Oh, listen, if she's a vampire, <laughs> then she can just suck the life right out of me. I am here for Olivia Rodrigo. We are absolutely. Oh, Allison Russell. So we are very excited. We're going to have much more coming up very soon, but we'll send it back to you guys for now in the studio. Um, Olivia Rodrigo, I was saying, looks so good. She looks amazing. She's giving me 90s supermodel vibes with the dress. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you were I saying love she's refining her style as she as she gets older. Yes, I feel like in the beginning she was very like punk rock mm -hmm. kind of vibe, like mm -hmm. kind of like her music, very like alternative. And I feel like now, like the last couple of years, her style has just like evolved, and she looks refined and classy and just like. Yeah. Gorgeous. She's performing tonight. She's up for some of the biggest awards tonight as Amazing. well uh, for her second album, her sophomore album, Guts. Uh, Vampire also up for an award. So she just looks absolutely incredible. Stunning. I mean, from like the jewelry to the hair, the makeup, I mean, she is giving. Like, this is such a beautiful look for the Grammys. Oh, as we're watching the red carpet right now, watching all your favorite stars get down there, you know, this this last 30 minutes, this next 30 minutes, I should say, is when we normally see the biggest stars oh, take the carpet. They always come at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever on time there. Um, but uh, as, as we do get to look at the carpet, I do want to shout out this gorgeous table because we're having our own pre-gramming party here. Nice we can little even spread. Do a little cheers. cheers. This is me and you grazing <laughs> provided this for us. Charlie Kerbal and her team always doing a good job. And I have to shout out this Midnight's album here, also up for album of the year. Incredible album. Love Taylor. I know, Taylor's gonna have a big night. We really haven't talked about Taylor yet. No, we haven't. I'm so curious to see what she's gonna wear. If Midnight wins, it will be the fourth time winning this award and she would make uh, history because wow. she'd be the only artist to have won album of the year four times. And she deserves it. I mean, like yeah. that tour, I just watched it and wow. I, I, it, I became a Swifty. <laughs> I'm a Swifty, and uh, it was incredible to watch it perform for almost four hours. Take a look. You're looking at Jelly Roll there. Jelly Roll, he is the epitome of sticking to your dreams, making them happen. Yeah. And you can do no wrong. I don't care what you're wearing, Jelly Roll. But <laughs> I mean, he could have came with a better yeah. look. But you know what? It's OK. It's the Grammys. We'll give him a pass on this look. <laughs> it, it's giving um, it's cold outside and it's rainy. And he's all, give me a jacket and we got to get to the carpet. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's up for best new artist because he is having such a big year. And I believe that is his wife he brought along with him there. Um, it's just a really, really big night down on the carpet. Um, 
Jelly Roll, best new artist. If he wins that, that'll be a big moment for him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Amazing. So, uh, a lot of people performing tonight. In fact, I don't know who you're looking forward to, but I'm looking forward to Olivia Rodrigo. Yes. SZA. I, SZA. I went to her tour last year and it was incredible. So I'm just like, what are you going to perform? <laughs> <laughs> and looking down at our live fashion cam, that's Kylie Minogue. Oh, I love this oh, red moment. Red looks good on her. I know. As, as uh, she's wearing Dolce and Gabbana there, and as Grace said down on the carpet, badam badam. We now know what that means. <laughs> she looks so she good. She looks stunning. I love red, and I love the red lipstick. Is that? That's Doja Cat. That, that is Cat. Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. I knew she was gonna come with something different, something cool, edgy. I'm loving the corset moment. I think it looks great on her. Only as Doja Cat can, you know. She's always making a statement. I went to her tour this summer, and she's incredible, an incredible performer. She she's also up for some big awards tonight um, for attention. And she and also had a great released. year mm -hmm. last year. Yeah, so Doja Cat uh, definitely making sparks there on the red carpet. Uh, I know I love that she's kept her hair short. Me she too. Does that. And I like the glasses too. It's like, it's a cool accessory. I like oh, it. I like this cat. vibe. It's like naked, but not naked. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's something similar that she wore on her tour. So she's always making a statement. Doja Cat hitting the red carpet. Bringing the drama. But we do want to get to some stars we saw earlier. Peso Pluma, who won tonight in the category for best regional Mexican music album. Jenny, this outfit pays tribute to his music. Yes, 100%. You could tell that it's giving a little bit of like mariachi inspired vibes. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm here for it. I think it's a great look for tonight. And yeah. I like the earring with it too and the glasses. I think it ties it all together very nicely. Yeah, and that haircut. He, he is sticking true to it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's him, it's Beso Pluma. Yeah. This year, Ana Barbara was up for best regional wow. Mexican music album. She did not win as Peso Pluma did. Um, but she looks incredible. Yeah, I love the lace under the green dress and I love the way that it cinches her waist. I mean, this woman does not age. She looks amazing. <gasps> She's she been looks around forever, forever which is a, honestly a compliment because yes. I remember my mom used to play <laughs> her. Uh, but you just look gorgeous down there, bringing back yeah. my childhood a little bit. Same. Uh, American singer Don Richards, you remember she used to be part of Danity Kane? Yes. Uh, wearing what looks like a tree. But I mean, it, this is the this is a good dre like dress to make a statement on the Grammys. There you go. It's a very Grammy dress, because where else would you wear this? Like maybe the Met Gala, but I think it's very, it's appropriate for Yeah. Okay, for we want to get right to Suzanne. She's talking to some of your stars there on the red carpet. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Gray and I are joined by Allison Russell, who just won a Grammy. How does it feel? It's my first time winning, eight time nominee, first time win, so, so joyful. And really, it's not just me, it's my whole circle of collaborators, my co-producers and co-writers, all of the amazing women that brought this song to life, Sister Strings. We are all gonna be backing up Joni tonight on the telecast, we're very excited. It's just so joyful for all of us, and, um, and an honor and to be part of this community is so meaningful, is so inspiring. But also what it reminds us is when the collective, when the community thrives, the individuals can also thrive. And it's really about community more than competition. Like the, you know, the pageantry and the theater of someone has to win the award, that's, that's fun and it's sort of silly, but the true depth and meaning I think of this of even this award season is a, it's like a family reunion new projects are happening all over this place new inspiration is coming out albums that are going to be our favorite albums are in their gestational phases right now artists are me I got to meet Big Frida for the first time Big Frida I want to I want to collaborate with you I mean I adore I adore and we're in the same Concord family so you know maybe it'll happen but but you manifest we, we met for the first time and just instant sense of kinship, you know, and this that's happening all over. And that's what this is really about. It's about the community, the work that Music Cares does for musicians, for schools, for arts education. It's about so much more than just we get to dress up and celebrate the art we made, and that's wonderful, but it's about celebrating the community even more.
Yeah. Absolutely, context yeah. is what gives all of this so much more meaning. Exactly. Speaking yeah. of context, can you talk really quickly about how much Joni Mitchell has meant to you? Joni Mitchell is formational and foundational to me as an artist, as a writer, as a human being, as a Canadian girl. She, I've been listening to her literally since I was in my mother's womb. My mom is also from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, just yes. like Joni. Yeah. And we've listened, I've listened to her my whole life. Some of my most cherished, earliest musical memories are hearing her records, hearing my mom play piano along to them, hiding under the piano, watching her feet on the pedals and her hands on the keys, and hearing the clarinet for the first time on Joni Mitchell's album, Ladies of the Canyon, a song called For Free. That first time I heard clarinet and being electrified, and now I'm a nerdy clarinet player. So there you go. She imprinted upon me. Yes. And you're taking the stage with her for her first Grammys moment. Because she likes my clarinet playing. I'm gonna pass oh out for God. you. Allison oh. Russell, what an icon. Congratulations for tonight. Thank you so much. Your gown, who are you wearing? This is Cristalini. She is exquisite. She is an, uh, such an extraordinary designer. And I feel like art. I feel like I'm walking and moving. Breathable art, but it's also comfy and you can like... <laughs> Drop it to the, the floor. Well, structure, yeah. movement. Okay, well, thank you, Allison hey, Russell. Thanks, Allison. We'll be right back. Oh. Iconic! Thank you! Perfect. Welcome back to the Grammys Red Carpet, the 66th annual. It has been such a good time, haven't we? Had wow! <laughs> I have stars in my eyes, and they're everywhere else, too. I know, oh. and we've seen so many icons. We just saw John Baptiste covered in silver. He looked like yes. he was in the sky. And it seemed as though he was wearing a kilt-like bottom. I missed that. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, lucky you, you get to see it for the first time <laughs> soon because he looked stunning. His music is stunning. And speaking of John, we're looking at John Legend right uh, now. Another incredible performer. Yes, multi-Grammy winner. Right. And you know, we are loving the fashion that you guys are showing in studio. We actually found somebody who everybody's gonna be talking about tomorrow. Don Richard, formerly of Dandity Kane, now a solo act, and brought something way better than Umbrella. I have to ask about the look, it's epic. I'm wearing Kosterov, he's an Armenian designer, and this is the tree, his line was inspired by Botticelli's Primavera. So I was like, look, I, it's my first Grammys, I wanna represent a seed going into her, her moment, and the tree. I am the giving tree uh, at the Grammys, my first one. And coming out to another fashion icon, Lenny Kravitz. We're just getting the back right now, but that is plenty good, okay? It is that, Lenny Kravitz. That's a good day at work. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. By the way, we have another fashion icon coming down the carpet, Tyla, who's right over there. Oh, okay, well, they're taping right now, but we are live here on KKL 9, looking at all the fantastic fashion coming down the carpet. As we swing to the left, we're gonna show you who else is arriving, because the people that are arriving right now are a sea of people and sometimes, like with Olivia, only a couple of people peek through. Oh, but we're looking at Chrissy Teigen, I hear. That's right. We're oh, John... I see Sophia Ritchie on our side, at least. Oh, this and is she's the... pregnant, by the way. Really Showing good. her bump, debuting the bump on the carpet. Celebrity the right. spotting at this point. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> and we're also looking at John Baptiste, I think, on the red carpet, farther down from us. And John Baptiste, you're going to see that kill action because that's what we're showing at the very end of the carpet. That's where everybody's rushing to right now, trying to make the time before they miss the show. Out of all the daring looks here tonight, I feel like John Batiste has one of the most daring. Yeah. And that's saying something at the Grammys. It is, and I love it because it's classic, but like you've noticed, it's an original color, also an original style, but up top, you know, you think you're doing something traditional and it just changes as it right. goes down the look. I love that he's wearing the color of our skies here in Los Angeles, and he's making them embarrassed. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Yes. And a very stormy day. The water is still, I should say, the sky is still crying outside. <laughs> it's not is. coming in here, though. That's the best thing. Somebody said earlier it was going to be Grammy's Ark, like Noah's Ark. Oh, Not no. yet. <laughs> not yet. We're still here. And we're dry. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys. Oh, John Batiste looking so good up for Album of the Year, Record of the Year. Um, and I will tell you, he might have looked the, the very mute gray, but whatever was hanging on that neckline, 
<laughs> he was blinging. I think his accessories were on point. He looked great. Yeah, he definitely was. You know, they're talking about everyone having to wrap up now. Right. 15 minutes until the big show starts. Actually, a little less. So this is about the time everyone needs to start heading in. Or the big stars like Taylor Swift, Beyonce, yes. will start showing up. So it's worth the wait. Just hang on a little bit longer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Again, taking a live look from the red carpet as you continue to see all your favorite stars battling this rain we're dealing with here in Los Angeles to get to the red carpet. I mean, I saw that rain coming in. I mean, it's rough. It's rough. And it's windy too. But so I like respect everyone that's on this red carpet mm -hmm. for looking good. As, you know, even though the rain is here, they're still looking really, really good on the carpet. Yeah, definitely. I know stylists have to do those last minute checks, make oh. sure everything is in place. Have a blow dryer on hand, making sure everyone looks on point. Yeah, and Sophia Richie, I believe, we're looking at right now, as we said, she is debuting that baby bump there on the red carpet. She looks so elegant. Yeah, we expect, I, I believe uh, Lionel Richie, her father, is possibly uh, maybe giving out some awards tonight. He, he normally That's always exciting. does. That's yeah. So, yeah. She looks beautiful. Elegant. Very elegant, classy. Yeah, we want to get to some of uh, the, the stars we've already seen on the red carpet. There's been a lot of good ones. And this, I would say, is your favorite, Jenny. This is my favorite, and she's actually wearing Archive Versace. Archive. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she looks, I mean, stunning. I love this entire look. This is Olivia Rodrigo, has six nominations. When we talk about an Archive look, when you pair with someone like Versace, that relationship, that, this is a big deal. It is a big deal. They don't and pick just anyone, no, even if you they are a don't. big star. So this is, I think they picked the perfect person to wear an archive to the Grammys. Halle <gasps> Bailey. She looks stunning. Chloe Bailey, excuse me, Chloe Bailey. That is Chloe Bailey. Uh, not looking at Halle there, but Chloe Bailey without Halle, her sister. She looks stunning. Gorgeous. Look at those abs. <laughs> like, girl, she looks so good. And uh, the beautiful print on that dress. I mean, the, the details there, are the just details. amazing, yeah. It's just absolutely gorgeous as we continue to take a look at all your favorite stars hitting the red carpet. This rain or shine, it doesn't matter. The Grammys will go on as Heidi Klum I took the red carpet. It. She always comes correct to any <laughs> red carpet. I mean, she looks stunning. Her makeup, that dress, the cutouts, the, the details on this dress is so, they're so beautiful. She looks great. Everyone hitting the red carpet as we have about 10 minutes left until the big show. But we still have much more to get to here live from the red carpet. We will be right back. you just saw walking down the carpet had Taylor Swift. She looked fabulous wearing a white gown with black gloves. White is really having a moment this year. It is sort of a, like a heavenly angel kind of vibe here. And Taylor's the perfect person to wear it. Yes. She looked gorgeous. She looked absolutely <laughs> fantastic. There goes Paris Hilton over our shoulder looking like a mermaid. Like wow. one of the, like Mermaid Barbie. Fabulous. Like Dua Lipa in the movie. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Yeah. By the way, we also talked to Madison Cunningham, who was nominated for Best American Roots Album. Have a listen. One of my main issues right now is I'm very hungry. We have a snack. Here we go. Oh, are you serious? If you'd like to take one to go, I give it to your you. team. Here we go. Here? Thank you so much. Pick a treat, any Please. treat. <laughs> she will be performing tonight with Joni Mitchell. It's going to be an epic performance. Oh, wow. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> believe it's the first time we've seen Joni Mitchell on stage here at the Grammys. And you know, I think we got a preview last night because the music hairs for John Bon Jovi. They had all of the different performances through the night, and then at the very end, everybody's singing Living on a Prayer. Oh, wow. Right? I can only imagine what song they're going to pick. Oh, I, I have a million ideas. I I love all of them, and I'm going to be glued to the television yes. just to see what they sing. I know, because we have so many people inspired by her, by Tracy Chapman, SZA, we just saw Taylor Swift. It is the year of the woman. And truly, 
We don't even know all of the magic that the show has for us. There's some, gonna be some surprises. For sure, and Janelle Monet, we hear just got on the carpet looking always perfect. She always is a trendsetter. Whatever she wears, people will be wearing a year from now, but she's <laughs> always the one who starts the trend. Exactly, I'm gonna attempt it anyway. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like the black and white trend, that's a very big trend that is classic, but it's also one of her signatures. Here comes Gail King coming down the, oh, Taylor Swift on the carpet too, but Near us, we have Gail King, looking like a Golden Grammy herself. Yay! Looking fierce, Gail. And yes, Taylor Swift, the woman everybody wants to see, arriving on the carpet as well. And as we walk down the carpet, we see Carol G behind us, who is wearing the blonde with the pink hair, looking so adorable. It's kind of a silvery gray, just like John Baptiste wore. Jordan Sparks. Jordan. Let's walk out there. I'm Hi. just Jordan Sparks. I'm coming. I'm going to go here. And We're I'll be right live there. on KCAL right I'm now. How are you? Hello. I love your hair. Thank I love you your so sparkles much. and the red. Let's Thank go. You. How are you guys doing? Oh, oh so good. So excited. I know. It's and crazy. you're nominated. What is that like? It's amazing. I mean, to get nominated once is an honor, but to get nominated a second time is really, really incredible. I'm just grateful to be here again. Like, I, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. <laughs> that makes it a full-fledged thing. Yes. Now, yes. what's the thing about the Grammys that most people wouldn't know if they haven't ever been here? That everybody's hungry. <gasps> we have you. Okay, you keep the Stop. mic up. Okay. Suzanne is going to get help Jordan out. Sparks I'm a snack. Help a girl out. Um, no, I think the other thing too is just right. It's just how <laughs> how long of a carpet that this is. You know, so girl. <laughs> Jordan yes. Sparks, we are here for you. Why? Whoever's okay. carrying I'm your gonna purse, take some just, oh, I need actually, a, I'm going to need a flosser yeah. after this. Thank you. <laughs> I put it in my tiny purse. Thank you so much. Wait, who are you wearing? Because let's not, I'm not Thank missing you. the corset. No. This is called Zig Mom, and I found it last minute. I had found all my other dresses for all the other events, but I just didn't find anything that really wowed me for the carpet. It was this amazing showroom called The Show Must Go On, and I put this on and was like, well, there it is. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. That's it how I felt. It looks like it was made for you. Can Thank we get you. a little twirl? Yes, of course. Hold on. I love seeing okay. the trail mix in her purse. We know with what she carries. Ooh, fabulous. Yep. What's up? Yep. Good to see you. I mean, this What's is up, the Woody? Grammys, y'all. How we doing, y'all? <laughs> okay, so are you nominated this year? Oh, man. Always nominated. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Always, about. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love the vibes tonight. The energy is amazing. I appreciate you guys for being here. By the way, grab a snack while we talk about who you were most excited to see, have you seen them, or a dream collaboration? Um, my dream collaboration would be Michael Jackson, God rest his soul. Oh. Yeah, man, it's one of the best to ever do it. So I'm just glad to be here. I'm stoked, you know? So, yeah. That's amazing. So being here, how would you describe it for folks who will never be at the Grammys Red Carpet? Watching from home, at least they're comfy and they're dry. Yes, ma'am. You look you look like you avoided the drops. Yes, ma'am. It's so charismatic. The energy is so lucrative. And I'm just feeding off of the energy that, you know, it's bringing today. And I'm just thankful to be here. Okay, so real talk, when you're nominated, do you come up with a speech beforehand? No. <laughs> But I that's kinda, the best part. I kind of just let it flow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's the best part is just letting it flow, being yourself and doing what is best for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's the who, who made the fit? This is me today. Really? This is me. I design, I style, I'm super energetic with the clothes, you know? Wow. I love it. Can we get a thing. spin? And is that a little purple rain homage, or is it just just for everybody to enjoy? It's for everybody to enjoy. It's a whole <laughs> lot of flavors. Dip in the candy jar and choose whatever flavor you feel like choosing today, baby. <laughs> I'm kind of in the mood for Grammy Gold flavor. Grammy Gold flavor. Let's do it. I love the hair. Thank you. Yes, yes, I'm telling you, that is the ultimate accessory on the carpet is the hair. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes, exactly. And I love your dress. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a little Grammy Gold in the hair, too. I exactly. love it. Exactly. Exactly. for it. Exactly. Well, thank you so much thank for talking so much. to us. Yes, ma'am. Happy Grammys. Save me. Time Goes By Out Now by YK Osiris. Make sure you guys go get that. That's Ozone World, up. the biggest CEO <laughs> in the Metroplex. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. <laughs> yeah, Very we nice got it. Yes, so man. great to meet okay, you, too. Okay, we are getting close to showtime, aren't oh. we? Woo. You know, he had mentioned Michael Jackson. I know. He is the one person that had won the most Grammys in a night. It's eight. It was a long time ago, but maybe some other records are going to be broken tonight as yes. well. I definitely feel that as we go, we're going to show Ice Spice. I feel like SZA is a possibility. And Taylor, I have a feeling he's going to make history tonight as well.
Back Suzanne and Gray, we told you the best comes just minutes before the big show or seconds. I Spice, Taylor Swift, so many people down there. YK Osiris, they got to speak to for several minutes there. He <laughs> wanted to get in front of the camera. He, he, I loved his energy. Yeah, he was great. And so much more is coming in just seconds on the Grammys. So make sure to tune in 66 annual Grammys right now on CBS. On demand on Paramount Plus, switch on over to CBS now for music's biggest night or stay right here on KCAL News for continued weather coverage. Have a great night, everyone.